Exploring Styles of Vermouth Vermouth is an aromatized wine that includes wine, botanicals, some sugar or grape juice, and spirits to fortify the wine. It's the use of botanicals which includes herbs, spices, and bitter roots that makes vermouth unique. We can pay homage to the city of Turin or Torino in Piedmont, Italy for making vermouth an important beverage used in cocktails and as an aperitif and digestif. Styles and Uses of Vermouth Today, vermouth is primarily used as a blending ingredient in cocktails, and over the last two centuries, three dominant styles have emerged. Sweet vermouth, dry vermouth, and blanc vermouth. Today, with a little searching, you can also find two new styles, a golden vermouth, or de oro, and a rosé style, rosato. Here's a quick tip. Store open bottles in the refrigerator. They should maintain flavor for about up to a month. Sweet vermouth. Red or Rosso. Flavors. Rich, spiced, herbaceous, and sweet. Cocktails which use sweet vermouth include the Manhattan, Negroni, and Blood and Sand. And you can also mix it with rye, gin, bitters, and sparkling wine with much success. Bianco or Blanc Vermouth. Flavors are rich, tart, floral, citrus, and sweet. Cocktails include a Gibson, an Algonquin, or a vermouth cocktail. And you can mix it with Lillet, Elderflower Liqueur, Sochu, Gin, Vodka, or Sparkling Wine. Extra Dry Vermouth. Flavors. They're lean, tart, herbaceous, floral, and dry. Classic cocktails include a dry martini and a Bronx. And you can mix it with Vodka, Gin, Campari, Aperol, Amaro, Chartreuse, and Cinar. De Oro Vermouth. Flavors include white wine combined with herbs, spices, and sugar. It's refreshingly sweet. Cocktails? Well, you could pour it over ice or use it in an Americano. And you can mix it with gin, vodka, bourbon rye, Campari, Aperol, sake, or sparkling wine. And Rosato Vermouth. Sweet and fruity. Hints of citrus, clove, vanilla, and cinnamon. You can mix Rosato Vermouth into a Paloma or do a Rosato Royale instead of a traditional Kir Royale. Mix it with gin, vodka, light rum, tequila, rye, or sparkling wine. So how should you enjoy vermouth? Vermouth ranges widely in taste depending on style and producer. There are, however, four basic components that define vermouth's taste profile. Bitterness, sweetness, acidity, and most importantly, its botanical profile. In terms of enjoying vermouth, even in the 1800s, it was rarely enjoyed straight. The addition of bitters, vanilla soda, or tonic is common to create an enticing drink that would embellish vermouth's taste profile. If you're interested in simply enjoying vermouth to really taste it, try it added to soda with a twist of lemon or orange. Fundamentally, vermouth is required to be 75% wine, which is typically from white grapes. The remaining portion is a blend of sugar, or mistel, which is grape juice plus alcohol, and botanicals and alcohol. The blends of botanicals and the selection of wine differs according to the producer's exacting and closely guarded recipe. Vermouths typically range from about 16 to 22 percent alcohol by volume. Botanicals used in vermouth. The defining process of vermouth is the botanical blend. All vermouths contain an artemisia, which is a bitter plant or root, which gives vermouth its fundamental bitter taste. Botanicals are extracted either by maceration, which is putting them in alcohol or water, or distillation, which is distilling alcohol through a basket of herbs. Producers frequently use dozens of different components to create vermouth, and often mention it on the label. Here's a list of some common botanicals used in vermouth. And no discussion on vermouth can conclude without a little bit about the father of vermouth, Herpano. In the late 1700s, a gentleman by the name of Luigi Marindazzo started a distillery and elegant bar offering aromatized wines. His assistant and eventual successor, Antonio Benedetto Carpano, concocted a new blend he called vermouth in 1786. The vermouth was made with white wine, with Moscato grapes, and a blend of 30 or so botanicals. When Carpano's nephew, Giuseppe Bernardino Carpano, inherited the bar, he officially branded the beverage and the bar. Today, the brand Carpano still exists. They produce several types of vermouth, including Carpano Antica, made according to the recipe from 1786, and the even more popular Punta Imes, 
which is a vermouth plus bitters.